Hey everybody, it's Josh with FL Gardening, and I'm coming back at you with a garden update video. It's been about two weeks since I last posted one, um, so some things have changed in the garden since then. Um, we got a lot of tomatoes ready to pick. Tomato plants looking uh, a little questionable, but it's making tons of tomatoes. Um, our beans, we harvested them. We got a big old bowl full of beans already, but I think I might have messed these guys up a little bit. Um, you can see on the edges here, this is burnt kind of. Um, they're actually looking a lot better now. Um, they were looking kind of sad. I decided to fertilize, if you saw my last video, I decided to fertilize everything with a uh, fish fertilizer, which is heavy in nitrogen. Um, and beans are a nitrogen fixing plant. Um, and if you give them too much nitrogen, it's going to affect your harvest. They're going to produce more green gro growth than they will fruit and I think I kind of messed them up with that so um, we didn't we got quite a bit but I don't see it producing any more flowers to give you more usually you can get a couple of harvests off these um, I don't usually fertilize my beans um, and I did this time and yeah that's what happened so probably won't do that again next year note to self and any others growing beans avoid nitrogen fertilizers um, but this milkweed popped up. I cut this back to just a stump. If you saw uh, my videos when I first planted this garden, I just hacked that thing down to the ground and it's popped back up, making flowers already. Um, here's the cilantro. Still haven't taken that out. Peppers, still doing their thing. These are jalapenos. Still making tons of peppers. That plant's like a year old now. Um, cucumbers, uh, didn't have the best luck with these either. Never tried these, this variety before. I think they got hit with um, some downy mildew. Um, I'm assuming that that's why the leaves kind of look how they do. Um, yeah, they don't look the best. They are flowering, um, but who knows? I don't know. I'm gonna keep on trying, and we'll see what happens. Here's our blueberries. If you saw the last video, there was a ton of blueberries on there. Unfortunately, the birds got to them before we did. So I only had a handful of blueberries. The birds ate more than we did. <laughs> I'll have to be quicker next time. Um, herbs are still doing fantastic. Here's the dill. Flowering real nice. If I can get it in focus. There it is. Nice. Uh, lavender, sage, blanket flower. Everything here is doing really nice. Um, over here we got some peppers. Finally planted this one into the ground. This one was in a pot for the longest time. This is uh, some sort of Thai pepper. I'm not exactly sure of the variety. We got it from a buddy of ours. Um, it seems to be doing all right. Um, here's a random Everglades tomato that just popped up from in between the cinder blocks. Um, here's the cayenne pepper. We actually harvested a couple peppers off of this guy. This one looks fantastic. The one back there is a dead twig. <laughs> um, also, it looks like we got some milkweed popping up in this garden somehow. Over here is the habanero, which looks great as well. Um, haven't got any peppers off of it, but the plant itself looks happy. Um, and the best producers so far this season have been these banana peppers. Uh, we've got we've gotten multiple huge peppers. These guys. Got this guy over here. Got a whole, a whole bunch of peppers on it. Um, so yeah, so far these banana peppers have been pretty easy to care for and been uh, producing a lot. Um, this tomato plant also not looking the healthiest, but making tons of tomatoes. They taste good. <laughs> um, we moved our uh, citrus tree over here. Um, got a big old lime that's probably, I don't know, it's still pretty hard. I don't know how much longer that'll need. And got the hops over here. Pops looking happy. That's the cashmere variety. This is Cascade. Uh, I think the Cascade looks happier. It looks healthier anyways. Uh, really bushing up. Hopefully it'll start climbing on the fence pretty soon. Um, here's our eggplants. This one had a flower but fell off. It looks pretty happy though. Both of these looking good. Um, here's Vietnamese red pepper, which we've actually got a pepper on it right here. 
Nice, I've never had these before. I bet it's gonna be spicy though. Um, this thing seems to like it over here. Here's the ice cream bean tree. Still doing its thing. Squirrels really like to get into this pot for some reason. Um, so that's probably messing it up a little bit. But yeah, that's the garden update. Uh, today is the 7th of May. Um, we're getting ready to head into the warmer part of the month. I think that the peppers will continue to do good for a little bit longer. Um, while the beans and, and stuff will probably start to wind down as we move into the summer months. Um, but yeah, um, let me know what you guys got going on and growing. Um, if you are in Florida, like I am, and love to garden, uh, check out my website. It's flgardening.com. Um, I got a lot of um, Florida-friendly uh, variety charts there and like planting times and stuff throughout the state. Um, I hope it's a good resource for all Florida gardeners. Um, yeah, if you think um, that'll help you out, check it out. It's flgardening.com. Cool. Have a good day.